Welcome back everyone to Hot Divine 4 as Romania and uh, as you can see we are getting ready to go to war with Germany. I have justified a war goal and I think it's simply time to do it. It's gonna expire on February so we still got a little bit of time and I think we definitely need that time to do a few more things uh, before the war. Now as you can see um, we have a pretty huge border with the Axis. I think I've mentioned this previously in the, in the previous episode yeah, it, it's quite a huge border that the Bucharest Pact has with the Axis. We're kind of swished or squished in together between the Allies, the Allied stronghold here in the British Raj and Africa, as well as the uh, European holdings of the Axis. So um, we make or break uh, this this war. If we if we're successful, uh, Germany's going to fall. Uh, but if we fail then that means the Allies are probably going to fail as well. At least that's what I think. So we need to make sure that we win. Now, um, one thing that I would definitely want to do is release Sinkian. I have kept them, or I have kept these lands for now, because there are a few resources here that I wanted to use, uh, although they're not really all that useful, but they also had a few factories that were quite uh, nice to have under direct control. Uh, other than that, one thing I should also mention is that um, the resource map has updated. Um, so this is actually the... The reason I took these states was because I wanted the steel. Uh, the oil is nice too, but the steel was what I really wanted. And for some reason it didn't show up uh, last episode. But yeah, so this is this is the updated uh, resource map. Um, so yeah, we, we need to make sure to hold this. But as you can see, uh, Japan is currently actually abandoning this front. But Germany is rushing in because they know that we are coming after them. And uh, they have already put quite a lot of troops onto, uh, onto a border here. And I don't think we're going to be able to hold that. However, they are pretty much abandoning their uh, their front here in, in Poland. So I think this is where we're going to strike. But as I said, there's a few things we need to do. I started land leasing to our subjects because we need to we need to reduce their um, autonomy. And uh, the easiest way to do this is by land leasing or by uh, by building within their uh, territories. Um, so I will definitely do that at some point. Um, but land leasing is going to be the best for now. Uh, also, one thing that I should do is request forces. I haven't done that yet uh, because I think that will actually... If you use their forces in war, if you use the, the forces of your subjects, that will actually make them gain uh, war score, uh, gain autonomy from war score. Um, so I guess when I requ request their forces, uh, I can only take 43, obviously, um, and use them in battle, it means that, uh, well, they will uh, they will gain autonomy, which we don't want. So I have to use them for garrison duty or something like that. Okay, Croatia, I want your forces as well. I like that you get them immediately. That's kind of cool. Hungary, how many have you got? You've got 16. All right, and then there's so Slovakia left. Request your forces as well. 22, pretty good. All right, so we have a lot more forces. And... Of course, I want to strike uh, Germany in, in, in the heart. Um, but I think it's much more important that we actually go and uh, bolster our forces over here. So I will be I will be rearranging our armies here. And I will be sending a lot of them to Siberia to uh, yeah, just kind of hold, maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to think about this. But uh, yeah, I will definitely have to have a look at all the new forces that we just got. It is February 24th, which means it's time to go to war with the German Empire. Now, as you can see, I have um, some very ambitious plans. Not sure if they're going to work out, though it's likely they at least will have some initial success. Because Germany uh, obviously has to defend this huge border as well. It's not just us, but they have to defend it as well. And um, so I think that we're going to be able to hold... Uh, our lines here. I really want to break through here just so that, you know, Germany and Finland on one side are cut off from uh, Japan and the ch Chinese states uh, from, from from Asia, right? Uh, so I definitely want to cut down and then we can, we can split their forces. That would be quite useful. Also, Germany has the majority of their army in Asia or in their eastern parts. There's basically nothing over here. So if we manage to actually break for, uh, forth until the uh, or towards the Baltic Sea, then, I mean, Germany is open for one. And secondly, their army is going to be trapped. And that is the plan. Uh, I have sent the biggest army, the 
Actually, we're, we're looking at the Asian theater right now. Let's have a, uh, yeah, let's have a look at you guys. Uh, actually, no, that, this is Asia. Why is this considered Asia? This should not be considered Asia. You should be in Europe. Um, basically, Asia doesn't really have a whole lot of men. Um, but that's okay, because we don't really need to focus on that. I decided that I will not release Sinkian, instead I've sent the Serbian Auxiliary Forces to hold it. Not sure if they're going to be able to do it, but it's actually quite likely. Um, and if not, we can always fall back, and we don't really have to defend all that much over here. So if this goes badly, we simply retreat and have a smaller front line, and that's fine. We'll just give up these lands, uh, at least temporarily. It's not really a big deal. I do want to push forward onto this river here. We'll see if that works out. And, um, yeah, uh, other than that, as I said, I, I try and trap the German army here in the east so we can maybe encircle them and kill them off. Uh, with that said, um, obviously we're also going for some small other things here in Italy. We want to take over Albania, and, and we'll just see how things go. So I guess it's time to declare this war on the German Empire. I don't think there's anything left to do. We'll call all of our, all of our allies immediately, and uh, there we go. It's, uh, it's gonna be war against the fascists. Um, yep, we have just declared war, which means we do... I think we'll start lacking resources, but that's okay. So, first of all, all kinds of allies are joining in. Uh, this is a huge war. But, if I'm not mistaken, this is not merged with, uh, with the German-Polish war, which is great. So, we are uh, already winning if by 13%. That's because Italy is not doing particularly well, and... Look at that. Japan is not in the war yet. Japan is not in the war yet. Okay, so we're being immediately attacked by the German forces, which is fine. Now, the Bulgarian Auxiliary, I actually send them to move forward. I think I have... Do they have their plan actually? Yes, they are attacking as well, as you can see. And it's looking green for the most part, which is very, very nice. Um, so yeah, we're basically just gonna keep it like that. We are being attacked over here, which is kind of problematic. So we'll have to send over our tank immediately to try and help out, um, our, our forces over here. Because I definitely don't want to lose Sevastopol. Actually, now that I think about this, this probably wasn't exactly the best thing. Maybe we can have our Black Sea fleet do something here. Maybe you can search and destroy. Maybe you can patrol the Black Sea. That would actually be quite useful. I hope you can help. I hope you can help here with maybe some shore bombardment. That would be useful. Or yeah, well maybe just stop them from uh, coming over anyway. Uh, Free France wants military access. We will accept because that could actually help us quite a bit. And we need tons of steel, um, which is fine. Now, I don't want to trade with Greece or, you know, uh, the King of Hungary because that could uh, that could lead to them getting more war score. Although, you know what, they're, they're probably going to increase their autonomy level. It's quite likely since I'm going to use their forces here. It, regardless, uh, as you can see, Slovakia is marching forward. Everyone is marching forward, um, so this is this is awesome. Now we do have to be careful. Yes, uh, this is something I simply forgot about that Italy has, uh, well, provinces down here. So I'm sending I'm sending men there, but I wasn't quite able to, uh, well, to uh, to get there in time. So we're gonna have to deal with this, but I think this shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, Denmark or Danish forces, or Philippine forces are over here. So Italy is a mess. Um, so yeah, as I said, we're gonna take advantage of that. Germany is not really prepared. And the military access from Norway, uh, British Malaya will accept all of this because we need the allies in this war on our side. Um, Liberia is also part of the allies, which is kind of funny, um, but yeah. Anyways, so how's it looking? How is it looking? I, I, I guess it's, it's looking good. Um, and we've just researched new destroyers which we uh, immediately have to update, um, and we will. And we also finished, yeah, the Galati shipyard, and I've picked that as our um, naval designer, so we're gonna get some bonuses for our destroyers, which is awesome. Um, you will never be completed because we don't have enough steel, which is fine. Uh, and we do need a new research, though. I have been going for uh, the encryption, that's what we got, and we've also improved our industry. Uh, so that's going to be maxed out. We could start the nuclear reactors, which I kind of want to do. Mm, maybe, though, we are going for a new model here. I kind of would like to go for a new fighter model as well. Now, uh, we have no naval doctrine. And, uh, 
Actually, the destroy I'm going to hold off on. Um, actually, maybe. Let me see. Land Doctrine could be researched some artillery, maybe. Uh, this is actually going to give us more support artillery attack. You know what? We'll go for that. Artillery is going to be quite useful because our army is, is doing a lot of artillery, actually. So in Asia, um, you guys should go forward. Are you Are you pushing, man? I don't really see you. It says you're pushing, but you're not actually doing it. Are you? It's kind of strange. Um, but yeah, it's a huge front. It's a huge front. We'll have to see how things actually go. But yeah, it's it's looking green so far. If we can take out Finland, that would be perfect. Perfect indeed. Um, I wonder why we're being attacked. Maybe a counterattack here would be useful. Just to, uh, to weaken them at least on one front. Yeah, that seems to be working out quite well. And then... And then we'll just uh, try and hold, hold you up here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Hmm, actually being pushed back. Alright, yeah, so this is working out. We have some new military factories. Now, I'm thinking this is because we are capturing all kinds of things. Yes, that is exactly the reason. So I think we're going to attack. Actually, we're not going to attack you. We will simply uh, starve you out, for now at least. And we'll, uh, we'll try to get a major encirclement done here. Now, uh, this is looking alright, I would say. Um, let's just finish this, finish the job, please. Because all of these divisions could be quite useful for other things. So let's quickly, basically, let's just go for this. That should do the trick. And, yeah, we definitely need to stop Italy in the south. You guys I'll probably send here as well. Because I don't know uh, how much trouble Italy is going to cause. And we're just making... Oh my god, we're making so much progress everywhere. That's uh, that's actually insane. You can actually go and cross that river. How's it going for Croatia? One thing I totally forgot about was to take this one province. Um, that shouldn't be too difficult. But you know, the port uh, is kind of useful. We also took Trieste. Ah, uh, I see. Very nice. So it could be that Italy capitulates soon. Uh, although I do believe they have already capitulated uh, beforehand. Anyway, um, you seem to be retreating. Well, you have basically nothing left in terms of organization. So if we cut you off, you should be dead relatively quickly. Okay, unfortunately our tank has been stopped. Alright, so yeah, you you dealt with, and I believe we're gonna have to we're gonna have to try and do this. Uh, cut off Germany from supply. Wow, this is quite a lot of land that we need to travel. Maybe this is a bit ambitious, uh, even. But you know what? That's fine. We'll try. We'll see what uh, if that works. If that is even uh, you know at all valuable. Um, but we'll, you know, I guess we'll we'll see. Um, Perfect. So we've got free dockyards. Well, I kind of want to build destroyers. And as for the free military factories, is there anything we need in particular? Artillery. Oh my gosh, we need so much artillery. Um, now, well, hmm. I guess, let me see. What else could we be building? I think maybe some heavy tanks would be useful, some more tanks in general, or some mechanized infantry. I'm actually going to go for some mechanized. Uh, we've got quite a few factories. Yeah, let's go for that. We need steel, desperately, though. Uh, I don't want to trade with any of my uh, buddies, though, because they're going to get so much autonomy from it. Oh, well. But yeah, so we're making progress everywhere. It's looking really, really nice. And everyone wants to uh, get military axes. Yeah, that's, that's fine by me. Now, can you actually give me control of a state? I, I suppose you don't actually have control of a state, right? Um, that's not, that's not the one I wanted to click on. I wanted to click on you. Okay. Uh, ask for control of a state. Don't have control of a state. All right. Well, hmm. I guess I'm going to give Albania. Con why would they say no? Does not control enough occupied territory to want to give any away. Mm hmm. I understand. Uh... Well, I mean, let's let's finish off this last Italian army here in uh, in Albania. Let's just finish it off. Yeah, you all get axes. That's fine. Have the allies walk through our lands. Okay, so Italy is being pushed out of uh, of the Balkans. Important. All right, good, good job, good job. So that's dealt with. Now that the Montenegrin 
auxiliary is, uh, yeah, it's doing fine. We can send them over here, all of them. And then, yeah, I'm not Black quite Amanda. sure what to do with you. I think you can be sent to Basarabia. In fact, I'll probably send all of you new forces to Basarabia. Because that seems to be a field marshal, so might as well have him uh, get more troops. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. So how's it looking? We are being... Ah, so I see. So Germany is now finally doing some stuff. Um, they have a Vulcan. Okay. That is fun. We should probably try and keep that tank around, though. Yeah, that was certainly not the smartest move on my part. Okay, can we get the tank back? Don't want to lose the tank. And who's this now? Not a Gratian pack with the United States, certainly. Most certainly. Alright, yeah. Um, we're losing this tank, though. That is not cool. And you Okay, he's retreating good. We lost Saparosi. And... But... Okay, so yeah, we gotta be careful because we are about to lose our two tanks here. Alright, let's make sure that we don't do that. And then that's fine. Okay, so we have to... We did manage to... Uh, to get a land connection between Crimea and uh, our Romanian main holdings. And we are making some significant progress here. Um, but still, Germany is now slowly mustering uh, sort of a defense. They they are coming with an answer. Uh, so we, we definitely need more people reinforcing. Okay, so the Montenegrin forces are probably going to contain Italy in the south. Uh, quite sure about that, so I don't have to worry about it. And... Uh, all of our look, look at all of our fortifications completely useless because uh, the Soviet Union couldn't really threaten us and neither Germany uh, which is kind of funny how are we uh, making progress here in the uh, in the north uh, against Finland um, I mean it's going slowly but it is green so I feel like it's it's good overall uh, there's no activity in the Sinkian or former Sinkian territories so um, I'm happy about that because I don't really want to advance here uh, that is simply something I can't deal with. I need to take out Germany first before we can do anything else. But yeah, how about Hungary? Um, how about you're going to give me uh, control of a... St ah, they won't give me control of states here. A little bit frustrating. Um, but oh well. Overall, I guess that's that's fine. You guys got to move forward. You are doing that slowly. Come on, take Salzburg. It's uh, kind of an important province to have. Okay, um, the Italian... The fence is kind of beaten back, and Croatia has taken control over these lands. Now, how did they automatically take control? I'm not actually entirely sure about that. Um, because I think I had control over this first. Can I? Can I get Albania, please? Ask for control of Albania. Thank you. They refused. Hmm. But how did they get to this in the first place? I'm not not quite sure. Um, I mean, I guess it's fine, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm taking it with their forces. It's quite likely. Um, but I, I, I kind of don't like that. I, I want to be the one in control of these provinces. But regardless, uh, overall, things are looking good. We are making progress, as I said. I wanted to initially... Oh, look at that. Yeah, subject my soon raise its autonomy. That's hungry. Yeah, kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh, we'll sign this down a crash impact, and, and we'll see what we can do about you. Um, ask for control of a state. Say no. Well, that sucks. Let me check out our subjects here. Hungary, you are... We are land leasing, but... Yeah, we're not building. Subject contributed war score. Yeah, I mean, hmm. I suppose. Japan is not in the war. That is a big deal. Oh, that's why we're also not moving forward. I understand. That's why there's no action over here. Because Japan is not in the war. This is actually really great for us. This is incredible. Because, th yeah, this is actually helping us so much. Alright, perfect. Well, um, I need to do something with you. Probably need to push forward a little bit. Hmm. Well... I, I don't really like my subjects gaining autonomy here. Uh, that's that's not great. Is there anything else I can do? I can build stuff. 
Uh, I'm currently building some uh, some more naval bases in uh, Crimea. Hopefully, that's gonna increase our supply throughput. And wow, a lot of infrastructure that is broken, probably from en enemy bombing. Now, although no, nah, it doesn't actually look that bad. We do have control over Ukraine because I thought this would be where most of the heavy fighting is going on. Although, uh, now that I uh, think about it, probably wasn't the smartest place to put our planes. But it's okay. You know what? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt having them there. Okay, all kinds of non-aggression pacts. I think we'll sign them because I have no desire of going after uh, these uh, these guys. So that's that's totally fine uh, by me. But yeah, uh, as you can see, the last remnants of Italy are falling, at least in this particular region, because then there's uh, spots controlled by Denmark, United Kingdom, and it looks like with our push in the north, we see uh, the British Raj forces, who are for some reason in Italy, um, successful in southern Italy. That's, that's amazing. And France, the offense here hasn't fully been beaten back. There was a naval invasion. And uh, Germany was kind of beating them back, but then I declared the war, boy, I justified. So they had to bring a lot of resources and forces over to my border. So now that actually opened up this uh, this border once again for the for the allies. And yeah, we're making a lot of progress here. Very nice, very nice. I like that. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to probably make some new arrangements um, to to our armies. Because they're not fully up to date right now. And I hope that we can definitely contain uh, the Italians here in the south. Kind of bothers me that they're over here. Anyway, uh, definitely don't want Hungary to increase their autonomy and other things. Uh, but overall, it's not that big of a deal. If we win the war, uh, and then, you know, I'm fine with uh, Hungary increasing their independence, I guess. Anyway, uh, that was it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.